Today we're going to show you how to change the rear end on a Toyota. First thing you want to do is drain the oil. There is a drain plug located on the bottom of the differential. Just remove that and drain all the oil. Step two is you want to remove the dry shaft. There is four 14 millimeter bolts and nuts that hold that to the pinion flange right there. I recommend using an appropriate tool such as one of these because the drive shaft is pressed onto the pinion and a little flange in the center. Step three is you want to remove those four bolts and the brake line on the back side of the brake assembly on both sides. This will allow you to slide the wheel outward, removing the axle shafts from, from being meshed via splines inside the, the rear end. Once you have both these shafts slid out far enough, it will allow this rear end to come out through the front and just drop out, and then you can put the new one in. Once you have the bolts removed and the brake line removed, and anything else applicable to your vehicle, such as parking brake, provided you have yours hooked up on the wheel still. Um, slide the axle shaft out until the axle is out approximately 8 to 12 inches on each side. Once you have the axle shafts out 8 to 12 inches, you can move underneath and remove the 10 bolts that hold the differential into the center of the axle. Those should be 12 millimeter bolts on an 8 inch Toyota. Once you have the old one removed, installation is just reversal removal.